Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these exquisite seed beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more tutorials absolutely free similar to this one. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for this. You could check description for useful resources, a link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. Also, a lot of work goes in this video, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could also check in the link in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 all seed beads, white, blue and dark blue, which has a purple nuance to it. You could use others of your choice here. I'm using earring findings in silver color. This is Nymo Nylon Thread, which is size D. The thickness is 0.3 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors. And you might want to use pliers to go through the difficult bits, but they are not obligatory. And now I'm going to take a little bit more than half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm back. And what I have here are four white beads. I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making it by going twice through the loop that I have here, then pulling and then I will make one more knot. Okay. After that I'm going in the following seed bead after my knot and now I have this. Here guys I'm going to take a blue bead and go in the following white. Then I take white blue white and I go backwards through the next white bead. Take another blue and by the way, if you don't want your thread to tangle, you could pre-stretch it before you start your work. This is an easy trick to save time. Okay, and I need again white, blue, white. And as I'm exiting from this bead, I want to go backwards again through it. A blue one again to fill in the gap. Then again, white, blue, white. Go back in circle through this white one. A blue one. And then a white, a blue and a white. And I go backwards like this. Okay, then I have this guys. Okay, my friends, and now I want to reach here this blue bead that is sticking out the most. And I want to take five of these beautiful blue beads. And as I'm exiting from this blue that is sticking out, I want to go through the following blue that is sticking out as well. Okay, I have five and I go in the next blue. Again, I take five blue beads. I repeat the same thing. Five again. Okay guys, now here what I want to do is go through three, uh, sorry, go through two beads. Uh, 
I take a white, a dark blue and a white and I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. So now I'm skipping the central of those five beads that I added before. This is the central one. Here I have two and here I also have two. Now I'm going at the angle here. And then again, what I want to do is to go through first two of those five beads that I had in my previous step. And I take a white, a dark blue and a white. Skip the one here that's in the middle and go like this. Then again, I go through two beads. the same sequence repeat okay and after I add here the last one I want to go in this direction and I want to go through all of those three beads that I added in my previous step. And I'm going to take the following sequence, a white, a blue, three dark blue beads, a white and a blue. Okay, here it is. It's seven beads in total and I go in this white bead and if you can, in one movement, through all of the three beads that you have here. Take the same sequence, pause and take it. Okay, Okay, and this is the last time I take this sequence. And I take a white, three dark blue and a white. And as I'm exiting through this white, which is next to the dark blue, I skip the dark blue. And I go through it. Then I go through white, blue and dark blue. And take three dark blue beads, skip the central one and go next to this dark blue at the angle through all of the beads reaching to this one. Okay, a white, three dark blue and a white. Skip this central one here. Then here go next to the central dark blue bead. Okay, here exit out of the first dark blue. Three dark blue. Okay, go through all of those beads reaching the angle dark blue bead. Okay, and I will repeat this until the end of this row.
okay and i'm adding here my last three dark blue beads and what i want to do next is go through all of the beads in this direction and i want to reach one of the blue beads that that stick out and what i want to take here are seven white beads guys here they are they are seven and as i'm exiting through one of the beads that are sticking out i'm going through the other one through the next one i have seven again and i go through the next one that is sticking out and seven go in the next one that is sticking out okay and i'm going to finish this until the end if you forget how i'm doing it just rewind the video from here and repeat these three steps until the end and i'll meet you okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last seven beads from this row double check to be sure you're adding seven everywhere okay now what i want to do is to go through the first white bead take three light blue beads and go in the middle of those seven beads how i find the middle i count one two three four the fourth one is the middle one before it i have three and after it i also have one two three so i go like this take three light blue beads again and i go exiting out of the middle white i go in the last white and i also went through the following dark blue at the angle now i'm going through the first white bead three blue beads going as i said in the fourth one which is the central one three go in the last white and in the dark blue one go through the first white three blue beads go in the middle one which is the fourth counting from here three blue beads and go here like that okay guys and now continue adding three beads everywhere until the end if you forget how i'm doing it just rewind the video from here and repeat these steps and after that meet me okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row i'm adding them the same way now what i want to do is go in this direction through the white and through the blue then go here in the middle blue that is sticking out the most and as i'm exiting here i take four dark blue beads and i go here in the next blue bead that is sticking out the most or the middle one of the three that i added in my previous step now i have this then i want to go here through the next blue one take a dark blue and go in the next two blue beads take four and go in this one which is the middle of the three blue beads and which is the one that is sticking out the most go in the next blue take a dark blue go in the next two blue beads and take four dark blue beads 
and go like this. Now another dark blue and go here. And now guys, I'm going to finish this absolutely the same way. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind this video from here and repeat it and then meet me. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last dark blue bead from this row. Now I'm here exiting out of the first of these four dark blue beads. And what I want to take are two blue beads, my earring finding and two blue beads. And as I'm exiting here, I skip these two that are on my way. And I go here through the following. Okay. Now what I want to do is to find a way to go back and reinforce this work here. And I do this like this. And then I go here at the angle. And here guys, what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread and I make a loop. I go twice through the loop I've made, I pull. Then I could repeat this knot several more times. When I'm ready, I go through some beads in this direction. Okay, let me do this knot one more time. And after I make my knot, I go through one or two beads in this direction. And then cut my thread. Okay. And now, guys, my exquisite blue earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't thank to all of you that like share and comment you don't know how much of a support this is i can't thank you enough for these actions you could also check description for a full list of materials other useful resources facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials and you might want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with course of five peyote stitch videos plus other perks that you could also check in description now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching